Hey folks, it's Jang here from UltimateRC.com and I'm going to be taking a look at the Blade MSR from eFlight. This is a ready to run, in this case I got the ready to run version, uh, micro sized fixed pitch four channel helicopter. This has been on the market for quite some time and it's been pretty much the standard uh, micro intermediate level helicopter. Uh, pretty, pretty well known, uh, durable kinks have been worked out of it. Uh, this is pretty much the been considered the one to get uh, if you're taking a, a nice step up from beginning three channel or four channel coaxial helicopters. You want to get something that has a little bit more agility to it and that starts to train you a little bit more for, uh, for co full collective pitch helicopters without having uh, quite as much danger of getting a little bit more stability than that. So it's a, it's a step up from, from entry level, a couple steps up from entry level. I'm late to the game uh, with this one, but hey, better late than never. The package comes with the helicopter itself. Like I said, it's the ready to run version. So it comes with the helicopter uh, fully assembled, comes with a pretty basic uh, ready to run uh, controller here really not a lot to this. Um, it is a 2.4 gigahertz uh, system, but the, the controller itself is pretty basic. You can bind the helicopter to a, a DSM-2 uh, transmitter. Uh, also, you can get the bind and fly version of this, which doesn't include this relatively cheap radio. With the radio comes four AA batteries that you need to power the radio. So that's good. Uh, batteries, they don't give you a battery for the helicopter in this ready to fly set. They give you two. These are uh, using a, a, what's becoming pretty much a standardized size, uh, standardized format that, uh, that Horizon has put together that's being used more and more. And uh, that makes it easy to swap batteries between different micro-sized aircraft. They use the same sort of plug, both on their small helicopters as well as their small airplanes. They do include a charger with this set, and it's an awesome charger because, well, first of all, you plug it into the wall, so you've, you've got your AC adapter there. So that's very convenient for use around the house. It has four charging bays on it, so you can charge four batteries at one time and they, they, they all charge independently and they have independent LEDs to indicate their charging status. Uh, not only that, but you can unplug this thing and put D batteries in there and use this as a field charger or carry it with you to the office or, or whatnot, anywhere, anywhere that you wanna go. Um, even if you don't have quick and easy access to a, a AC wall outlet, you can just bring this with you, and that's all included in the set. So it's a very good deal there. They also give you a little bit of, of uh, extras on the spare parts. They've got an extra fly bar, a full fly bar included in there. It's a pretty flexible piece. Uh, I wouldn't expect to see that uh, breaking too often unless you're taking some really, really tough crashes. They do have a couple of tie bars uh, to connect to that, and they also do include an extra tail propeller, as well as a fine jeweler's Phillips head screwdriver for taking things uh, taking things apart. They did not include a spare set of, of main rotors, so if you haven't used a fixed pitch single rotor helicopter before, you might just want to order up one spare set of main rotors uh, just, just to have available. Uh, you're, you're very likely to crash unless uh, you have put in some good simulator time. It is definitely a step up in the controls and like I said, the agility when you move to something like this coming from three channel gyro stabilized or even a four channel uh, coaxial helicopter. And the last things here, uh, before I get into testing instructions, it does include not just a full on manual. I mean, it has, it has a, a pretty good manual with uh, a lot of material in it and parts lists and, a lot of information on, on trimming. They also have a quick start guide, which is this one sheet that if you know what you're doing, this is how to get up in the air very quickly. Uh, 
it definitely would be better to take extra time, get familiarized with the craft first, learn how to trim it out, learn what to look for, uh, give it a good once over before you actually try to take flight. So let me go ahead and finish uh, charging this up and give it a test flight. All right, there it is in the air. Now, if you don't have much experience with RC helis, you might look at this and say, ah, that's pretty simple. Pretty much flies itself. Here's the requisite filming while flying, flying with no hands footage and everything. Uh, did a little bit of, uh, of nose in testing here. It was a little bit dicey, but not too bad. Looks pretty simple, looks pretty straightforward, right? Well, it's actually quite a bit harder to fly a helicopter like this, a four channel fixed pitch heli than with other small micro helis that I've tested and shown before like the three channels and coaxial designs but for a four channel fixed pitch helicopter it's quite smooth and quite controllable I mean for someone of my very limited uh, skill level to be able to fly this around indoors in a very small space says a lot for the design of the helicopter and also its onboard software and the quality of its gyro the fly bar works exceedingly well to keep this thing oriented right side up, perhaps literally exceeding what it needs to do. It does tend to fight you a bit, uh, where it'll get into sort of a teeter-tottering uh, motion where even with your hand off the right stick altogether, it will continue to just kind of bob forward and back or left to right as it self-corrects uh, and actually overcorrects just a little bit. That takes some getting used to. It's kind of like being on a small boat that's rocking back and forth in the waves. You just have to learn when to lean to kind of counter what it's going to do on its own. Now, things get much better when you open it up and give it a little bit of room to breathe. In a large indoor area with very calm air, you can start to see just uh, how fast this thing can go. I'll just kind of bring it up slowly. Uh, this is definitely not going full throttle or full bore in any direction here just starting to kick it up just a little bit show a little bit more of its agility you can see that its yaw rate is very impressive it can pirouette all around the place uh, very very quickly in both directions and just generally speaking if you have a space that's at least 30 feet by 30 feet uh, with uh, preferably about a 15 foot ceiling above you that's when you're really going to be able to have fun with the blade MSR if you're just starting out with fixed pitch four channels, this is your first one of that sort of design, you are going to crash a lot. I crashed a lot. Good news is I didn't break anything on this craft. A lot of the parts are very flexible. It's also very lightweight, so you don't get a lot of force behind collisions. But you do need to be careful always about your surroundings and with yourself. Uh, the spinning blades can take your eyes out, so just be careful with it and be sure to go at your own pace. The nice thing is that even though this is a relatively low-end helicopter as uh, higher function ones go, still, as you can see, it does give you enough agility and enough speed to be able to have fun with it as your skills continue to grow. In the worst case scenario, if you do have a pretty bad crash, most of the time the very worst thing is going to happen is one or two parts will break and they are readily available. These parts are available anywhere that uh, sells helicopter parts in the United States and probably other countries too. And the bottom line is, for me, the Blade MSR, just the regular model that you see here, is a keeper. It's great for practicing as a stepping stone towards moving into six channel helis, but if I decide that I don't want to go up to the higher end helis, I'll just stick with the Blade MSR and just enjoy it. I want to thank you for tuning in. I hope that had some useful information and footage for you, and I hope to be able to talk to you again soon in the next video. Happy flying!